Hello guys and welcome to a new music class with Miguel. Today we're not going to learn anything new, okay? But we're going to keep practicing on the things we learned very, very recently, okay? And one of those things is the dreaded F chord. Specifically, option number one, okay? We really need to acquire this skill and this strength in our left hand to play this type of note. I know that maybe you're not going to get it perfectly at first, that's okay, but I do want to see improvement every time you send the task, okay? I do want to see improvement, so be focused on that and devote a little bit of practice every day to this chord, okay? Even if it's a little bit, it's gonna make you better, okay? We're also gonna be uh, using the B7 chord so that you don't forget how it goes. And how we're gonna do that? Well, we're gonna do an exercise that incorporates both chords. So in this case, we have F, option one. We're gonna do option one. I know it's gonna be hard, but that's okay. And we're gonna be seven. So it's gonna be four bars. You do two bars of F, two bars of B7. Then you repeat again, two bars of F, two bars of B7, and you end with F. It's gonna be the same strumming pattern we've been doing so far, and it's gonna sound like this. One, two, one, two, three, and... And we end in F. Okay, that's going to be exercise one for your task. The other thing we're going to practice is the song. What that song is, it's called Lean On Me by Bill Withers, okay? Here we have, remember that we have to learn also the G7 chord. Uh, we learned it last class. It's not a difficult chord, but you're not very used to playing this, so be sure to practice this chord as well, okay? Here I have the diagram so you can uh, check on it. And then we have the chord progression for the song, which is gonna be this one right here, okay? Just put my face over here. There you go. So we're gonna have C, F, C, and G7. Now for this F, you can use option three. If the one that it's easier for you, it's option two, you can do that as well. If you get it correctly, the option number one, then use option number one. But I think most of you will be using option number three. It's okay that for this song, you use option number Three. It's perfectly okay. For the first exercise of this video, use option number one. But for this, you can use the best option for you. Okay, all three ones are correct. So, what you're going to do in the task is play this progression four times. Okay, so I'm going to be playing this right now four times so that you can practice with me playing in the background and playing on the same beat as I am playing. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna play it four times. Ready? One, two, one, two, one, two, three, and.
Okay? So that was the chord progression for Lean and Me played four times, which is what you're going to do for your task. So let's recap. For this task, you're going to do two things. Exercise one, which we did later, uh, earlier in the video, and then this chord progression for Lean and Me for four times. Okay? Don't forget to practice a lot. Uh, record your video and upload it to Schoology, and I will see you next class. Bye-bye.